hello everyone in this tutorial we will see how to add audit and trails and user logs uh, in your laravel application for this tutorial i'm using the audit uh, laravel auditing package by aven it You can read full documentation here in the documentation website. So let's install this uh, composer package. Okay, now the package is installed. Uh, so I'll verify this by uh, with my composer.json file. Here I can see uh, package is installed. Next, uh, I will add this service provider. Uh, if you are using uh, Lumen, uh, there's uh, separate uh, some steps to follow for Lumen based application. After that, uh, it's time to publish the config file. While publishing this uh, configuration file, you may get uh, error if you are using Laravel 5.5. Uh, uh, the error, uh, some error related to uh, the string length, uh, length is too long for your uh, table schema. If you receive this error, you can uh, set the default string length to uh, some minimum value like this in a boot method of app service provider. So now uh, you can see that uh, uh, Laravel auditing package has published their own configuration file under app config directory. In this uh, config file you can change this uh, user settings as well as uh, drivers if you need really to uh, require it. so what uh, this, uh, this config options uh, what it says is uh, you can specify your user model and user resolver class
and also the foreign key uh, for your uh, tables as uh, foreign key for your user and also you can rename the audit tables that uh, audit tables is the table that uh, stores the uh, audits uh, within your database you can rename it if you like also you can specify whether uh, you need to audit uh, the console commands that you run through uh, uh, as a PHP artisan console commands okay let's uh, now uh, migrate our audits table simply run uh, migrate command so with this uh, you can verify this migration has actually uh, run uh, by uh, your in your database you can uh, if you can see the tables audit table the operation is success yes uh, now you can see that uh, there's a uh, new table called audits So in this audit table, you can see that uh, several columns are there. Uh, one is user ID, that's uh, for holding the uh, user that uh, create this, that is responsible for this audit record. And also the event, event uh, is, uh, it's with a uh, model create event or update event or delete event, whatever the log count event type is there and also the auditable id auditable id uh, refers to the entity id uh, that is going with audit the current audit record and also there's a uh, old value new value uh, uh, for this audit record also some other information are there okay now uh, let's go back to the official uh, laravel auditing documentation we have migrated uh, the schemas and next is to implement user resolver So I just uh, need to do some changes uh, for my user model. Uh, to make it a user resolver that uh, supports this uh, LAR origin package. a model uh, need to implement these two interfaces auditable contract and user resolver 
and also need to use this trait auditable and uh, this resolve id what uh, this method is doing uh, it actually uh, check whether uh, the user is logged in if it's logged in it returns the logged in user's id otherwise it will return null so this uh, resolve id value is used by laravel auditing Here it uh, uses auth facade, so I need to uh, declare this with using statement. So now, uh, now I'm going to make my electron model uh, auditable. I'm giving the auditable capability to my desired uh, electron models. So whenever the model created, updated, or deleted, uh, this audit will be automatically created for the declared models. Here you can see example uh, in this auditable configuration page. Here uh, this is a post model and uh, the post model is implementing the auditable contract. So likewise each model in your Laravel application that need to be audited needs to implement this auditable contract. You can also include or exclude uh, parameters uh, uh, attributes uh, for this uh, in this audit uh, audit process. So, uh, if you exclude some parameters like uh, category ID, it won't be audited anymore. So, for simplicity, we will uh, reuse some model that. Uh, I have declared earlier and I am giving the auditable capability for my post model. So now you can test this application. You can test whether Laravel auditing is really working. You can create some model. You can use tinker command here. I will uh, I will add a simple route and it will execute a model execution. So for simplicity, I am using a get route and creating a model. This is actually uh, the wrong practice but uh, I am using here for simplicity and demonstration demonstrating this uh, uh, auditable how auditable is working in my application so I am going to pause routes 
right some giving me some error um, I think uh, I have not uh, used the trait vegetable trait yes uh, Uh, it's fine it's working uh, let's see whether uh, we'll see whether it's new post created yes there are some uh, post in my post table and also let's check the audits table yes you can see new audits uh, added in the audits table for this uh, post IDs 8 and 9 I have two audit records in post created event so now you can see that uh, with laravel auditing package it's really easy to uh, record your audits in a laravel application you can also create uh, views this uh, next step you can create views for displaying the audits uh, in your admin panel application in the documentation it clearly says how to uh, display and how to present audits as a history or whatever uh, display condition you can display audits also so thanks for watching this uh, Laravel audit in tutorial